everybody, this is Praxis, and today Josh and I are both working on the interior space of the house. Josh is taking a delivery of gravel, the same kind of gravel that's used for driveways, uh, and he's shoveling it in. My initial plan was to use this mix of sand and silt and then kind of get some gravel and stomp the gravel down into it, but the contractor that's been doing all the site work uh, was asking me, like, well, like, what do you want all this stuff for? And I told him, and, and he said, that he actually had a mix that had everything all together in it. So that was kind of cool. I wish that I had maybe poked his brain about that initially, but the fact that we had that conversation just by pure luck was pretty nice. So now we've got this mix that's, uh, watch out River, it's going through. Um, uh, now we have this mix that'll pack really well, because if, it, if it had just been sand or just been silt or clay, it, it would have had trouble packing, so we would have had to bring in all that extra gravel and pack it down in. But this stuff is specifically used for making driveways, places where you want it to pack down. So, so this is good. It's not as easy to shovel, would you say, Josh? No. Yeah, it's not quite as easy to At shovel. At first it was. At first it was, yeah, yeah. We're still super high energy after six hours. Josh has almost literally been doing this for six hours straight. Uh, what I'm doing is trying to stay ahead of him. I've gotten all this area you guys saw the other day uh, with a layer of plastic and a layer of foam and then another layer of plastic. Uh, but I didn't do the back at all. There was just a bunch of debris back there, and the back is a little bit different. We're putting foam under this section, but the back area is going to be pantry. It's going to be utility room. And the utility room doesn't particularly need to be, you know, warm in any way. It's not like people live in the utility room. And the pantry actually wants to be cool, because having a cool pantry is going to allow your food to, you know, last longer and just, I mean, there's no reason to be heating your pantry. So uh, we're leaving the floor underneath, don't get too close to the camera river, the floor is still a little bit bouncy. Uh, we're leaving the floor underneath the pantry without any foam, so we're going to get that natural cooling effect from the earth. It'll try to keep it kind of a 50 degree space. So we're doing foam just up until, see these two little holes in the wall over here, just a little bit past those. Uh, and then we're leaving the rest all kind of open and we're just going to get the plastic ba uh, vapor barrier over that. As a result of that, we're going to be insulating these walls, these interior walls here uh, that are between the pantry and the living space. There is going to be insulation in these walls to keep the pantry cool, keep the living space warm in the winter. Um, I guess in the summer we can open the door and let some... Uh, no, that would be a bad idea because then we'd be letting heat into the pantry. We got other plans for keeping the rest of the, the, uh, the space cool during the summertime. But that's what we're doing today. Just a lot of shoveling, a lot of moving. We had a tri-axle dump truck full of this stuff. And I don't know how much of it we're going to use, but probably a lot of it. And I'm thankful that I have Josh here to help me with it. That's it. Thanks for watching.